Hello and welcome to this new video. Um, my name is Andy and in this video I want to show you a new add-on I'm developing. At work I'm doing a lot of 2D animations and currently I have done it with After Effects and the Puppet tool but it is uh, very limited so I thought I can um, try to bring that workflow into Blender. Maybe you know the uh, animation tool Spine, which is a 2D animation tool and it offers a lot of functionality. Um, this is something I wanted to achieve in Blender. So that's what the um, any, uh, edit, um, add on is for, which is called Cutout Animation Tools. Um, first of all, I will delete everything. So um, there's nothing or oh, not too much to see here, but you can create a new sprite object, which is an empty and it will be the container for all our sprites here. So um, now you see that we have new, a few new, new operators and um, we can import sprites, edit the armature which we can later add and um, yeah let's do it. So first of all we, we will import a few sprites. This is my character from my game and I have all separate parts here and I can select sprite and import it into Blender. So I can also import if, uh, all, all the selected sprites, then I can arrange them or I can import this JSON file here. Um, this JSON file has been exported from Photoshop. I've written an exporter script for Photoshop which will export all the selected layers and then um, store the data into this uh, JSON file which can be then imported. So we will select it and just import the sprites. So you have all the sprites now in Blender. We can lock the view to a 2D view, so you cannot rotate anymore if you'd like to, or you can keep it in, in the 3D view. So next step will be creating the armature. If we press the, this operator, it will create a new armature, or if you have one armature already, it will jump into the edit mode of, of that armature. So you see here in this outliner all the um, sprites we have already. You can make them selectable or unselectable here. You can hide them or unhide them. You can also make them favorite and just filter them here. Or search for certain sprites. So if you have lots of sprites, you can just say, I want to see chest. Uh, yeah. Okay, so the next step, step will be creating the armature and therefore we will press this button here and you see now that we have this brush icon and we just can drag new bones here. So with shift click you can you can lock uh, to certain angles. So this will be the root bone. Now we create a bone for the upper body and all the bones um, if we select one bone and draw a new one it will it will be the child of the one we had selected so this way you can create simply a parenting system and if we have this one selected and drag from here it will automatically connect them so this is a pretty straight and fast workflow. Now finally the arms. And that's it. The armature is almost done. Um, the next step would be to bind all these sprites to our armature. And for so many sprites this can take quite some time but Thankfully, I have. Uh, it is possible to make this very fast. So let's jump back into the armature mode, select the armature, and just press Alt. And now you see that you can highlight um, certain sprites. So just press on them, and the binding is done uh, from the add-on. Okay, that's it. You see all parts are uh, bound to the bones. 
you see that we have um, a vertex group and all necessary um, modifiers and parenting is set so this works now finally we, we can create an IK bone so just select the leg then the foot and the bone will be or the IK constraint will be um, done so this will be parented here okay and these two also here so we have a working IK mechanism um, sometimes you want to to uh, deform the sprites themselves so currently this is just a plane and it's not possible but you can um, create a triangulated mesh out of this uh, sprite by just hitting the edit mesh button and then draw a contour around your sprite and then just hit this grid fill button before you have to select um, this this outline and this will create a triangulated mesh fully uh, unwrapped just delete the one behind and you're done so now we can go into edit armature and just drag this bone in here select both and press on that uh, sprite here and that's it if you want to adjust the weight paint select that uh, sprite go to edit weights and you can edit the weights here so that's it same for this one edit mesh draw the outline and grid fill. Delete this one here. Oops. Okay. Now go to the armature mode. Select both and you're done. So you see that the weight painting is not very good here. Um, sometimes Blender's auto weight painting is not perfect, but just hit the edit weights button and edit your weights as you like them. And you're done. So in a couple of uh, a few minutes we have this completely rigged character, um, which can be animated, which can be rendered as sprite sheet. Currently no export. Um, as possible to other ed engines. I would love to add support for Godot, um, which is a 2D and 3D engine, but uh, I don't know if I can uh, do it. I will see. So, um, but hopefully you will like this. I think I can publish this add-on in a few days. Um, maybe there are a few bugs still, but um, hopefully they will get um, fixed. And if you like, you can get it from my GitHub page and just feel free to download it when it's uh, online and I will let you know. Uh, thanks for watching and if you liked that video, give me a, th a thumbs up and consider sub subscribing to my channel so you can see uh, future videos. Thanks for watching and goodbye.